I am known for my ability to pack really light and still have what I need to feel great and confident in my clothes. I think it comes from in the summertime, my sister and I would be kind of shipped off to Greece to our grandparents every summer for the whole summer, which was one of the best experiences for me growing up. But I basically had to fit everything into one suitcase. And now as an adult, I love packing. I know this is probably foreign to a lot of you, especially if you clicked on this video and want to learn what it is that I do when I'm packing to pack super light and to still have everything I need. Well, that's what I'm gonna to share today because me and my family are getting ready to take our annual trip to Cape Cod back east. So we do this every summer. We go back for just a little bit over a month and this is kind of our time to see all our family back east. And I didn't grow up going to the Cape. Like I said, I grew up going to Greece in the summer to see my mother's whole family that was there, who's still there. But my husband's family grew up going to Cape Cod every summer. So we now, as a family, we love going there in the summer. So while trying to fit everything into one carry-on and a tote bag, everything that I will need for a month of being on the Cape might seem daunting to some of you, I actually love it. So I'm gonna go through what I'm bringing, the outfits I plan on wearing, where I'm wearing them, and then I'm gonna show you how I actually pack all these items into what some will say a very small suitcase. So I hope you enjoy this video and here we go. So there's a total of 20 pieces of clothing that I'm bringing and three shoes. So the first pair is my black leather flip-flops from Tiki's. They're just an elevated flip-flop and I love these. I also wear these to the lake. I try not to get them wet though because they are leather, but they're just super versatile and easy. So I like to wear these and dress them up or dress them down. The second shoe I'm bringing are my Golden Goose sneakers. And again, they're just super comfortable for me. I love to style them with something that's a little bit more dressy to kind of play off the opposites. And I just think they're a super easy closed toed shoe, just in case, again, if it's a little cooler, these will work perfectly. And the last shoe I'm bringing is my elevated sandal uh, in this neutral color. So these are the Saint Laurent sandals and they are this kind of like this ivory patent leather. And I've had these for a bunch of years and they are again, just really, really versatile. And so when I'm going out to dinner, I can dress them up. Now I have brought heels to the Cape before, but I end up not wearing them. I think I'm gonna wear them, but then I end up not wearing them. So this year, I'm just not gonna pack the heels. I'm gonna pack my elevated sandals because these will work with all the dresses I'm bringing or to dress up any of my looks. I have a sun hat there because I would travel with a sun hat, but I ended up just wearing it on the plane and I didn't really wanna to have to deal with that. So. I just left a sun hat there with my mother-in-law who will hopefully bring it to me. Uh, but other than that, I wear all my jewelry on the plane. I, I'm pretty minimal with my jewelry, so it's not much uh, that I will bring. I bring two pairs of sunglasses, one crossbody bag that goes from day to night, and my tote bag that I will use on the plane to put my computer in, some books and snacks, but that I can also use if I'm gonna go work at a coffee shop on the Cape. And because we love to swim there, we swim in the, the lakes that are there. The lakes are beautiful. We kind of stopped swimming in the ocean because there's a lot of sharks now, but the lakes are absolutely fantastic. So I do have five swim pieces that I mix and match that I will also show you in addition to the 20 clothing items that I'm going to pack into my carry-on. So I've actually started with my base layer for the plane. So because, you know, we leave Los Angeles and typically it might be warmer and then we're on the plane, there might be air conditioning and whatnot, I like to just start with the tank. So I have that flexibility of adding layers or taking layers off and I like to wear something comfortable on the plane. So I'll wear my elevated white tank with my favorite jeans and my Golden Goose sneakers because they are super comfortable. And what I like to do is I'll add my cardigan and then my leather jacket. So this is what I plan on wearing to the airport because it's super easy and it's comfortable and they're pieces that are versatile and I'll wear again and again when I'm actually on the Cape. And for the plane ride, I like to put my crossbody bag in my tote bag. So it's in there with my computer and a book for the plane and some snacks. And in my Chloe bag, I'll put things like my phone, my credit cards, things that I wanna keep more safe and secure. And this is also, I put my sunglasses in their cases in my tote bag to protect them as well. So the next item I'm bringing is 
this same tank, but in black. So I love wearing tanks. I think they're just super easy. These are elevated. They are a little bit more stylized or the rag and bone tanks are a little bit thicker. And for me, I get so much use out of these. I can wear this with a pair of denim shorts for daytime and my sandals and you know, run out and get coffee. Or I even use this as a cover up. I'll wear this over my bathing suit with my denim shorts and go to the lake. So this is just such an easy piece and I will get so much use out of this. The next two pieces along that same line is my white and black elevated t-shirts. So again, these are, these are essentials in a capsule wardrobe, but they're also so versatile. And I guess that's why they're essentials in a capsule wardrobe. I, again, wearing them with jeans, I'm bringing a pair of black cozy joggers, which I'll show you guys in a moment because that's also one of these items but I'm also bringing a silk midi skirt that I can wear with one of these as well. So these are super versatile and so easy and I can dress them down, I can dress them up with what I'm bringing. And again, I like to have a white and a black because I do wear them so much. The next thing I'm bringing is my Anine Bing tee, which I love, I just think it's super fun. And I love how this looks with my silk midi skirt. I also like to wear this with jean shorts and cuff the sleeves and throw my crossbody bag on. And I can do this with my black Tiki's flip flops or I can do this with my Golden Goose sneakers. Again, it's just a versatile, easy piece that I can wear for daytime and is just really fun. And because it can still get chilly sometimes in the evening, I am bringing my Vince pink cashmere sweater and I love this. It's a light color, which for me works great for the summer as well. And it's that perfect piece that I can, I wear this over a dress. I can wear this with jeans. I can wear this with denim shorts. It's a really, really versatile piece, but will also keep me warm when I need something to feel a little bit warmer. And I talked about styling these a few ways, but here are, I have two pairs of the, actually I have three pairs, but I'm only going to bring two pairs. I'm going to bring a blue wash and a washed black, uh, denim pair of a goldie parker long shorts these are my favorite denim shorts and again these are so versatile i can wear them with the tank tops i can wear them with my t-shirts i can wear them with the sweater i can wear them with my cardigan they're really really versatile especially for the summer and especially for just wanting to be comfortable but also look really chic and stylish Next up, I'm bringing my favorite pair of jeans. These are my frame jeans. They have this triangle bra hem. They're a slim straight cut. And these go with obviously so many different things. They're super versatile. And I love how these look and I love how these feel. They're super comfortable. And so they're making it into my suitcase. And here are my lightweight black joggers that I mentioned earlier. And these, again, they're super versatile. They're really comfortable, so I can wear them for daytime. But if I wanted to dress them up at night, I can pair these with that black tank top. I can wear my little Eero jacket, which I'll show you in a moment. But it's super versatile and just pair them with my sandals or even my Golden Goose sneakers if I want to be a tiny bit more casual. But I think these are just such a comfortable but stylish pair of joggers that will go with so many other things that I'm bringing. And next up is my Lily Silk Midi Skirt. And this again, it's that piece that can easily go from day to night and that's why it made the cut. So I love styling this with a t-shirt or a tank top. I can style it with my sweater if it's a little bit colder and I can wear this with my sandals. I can dress it down with my Golden Goose sneakers that are making the list as well. But again, it's just if I wanna feel a little bit more dressed up and I wanna wear a skirt and I wanna feel a little bit more feminine, I think this is the perfect piece to do that. Next up, I have this romper from Rag & Bone. Again, it's just that easy, effortless piece. And I love wearing this for summer. I've had this for a few years and it's just such an easy piece to wear it with flip-flops or to, I can wear this as a cover-up if I want to, or I can also wear it with my sneakers if I'm just gonna maybe go shopping for the day in town or I wanna do a picnic lunch with my family. So it's just an easy piece that I can wear many different ways and I can do the cardigan over it if I wanted to, to if I needed that extra layer of warmth. Next up is one of my favorite jumpsuits from ATM. So it's my black jumpsuit. You may have seen me wear it before. And again, this is that piece. I can dress it up or dress it down. And I love being able to do that. So I wear, can wear this with my black flip-flop, my black leather flip-flops. And it just kind of like looks, you know, an elevated daytime look. Again, if I want to go out to lunch, there's really good food on Cape Cod. If you've never been there, there's some amazing places to eat. 
and or shopping too. There's just some fun little boutique shops that I like to pop into and just kind of see what's there. I love that it's sleeveless because it feels like a tank and it's cotton. So this is just such an easy piece that I love to wear. Now I love wearing dresses in general, but especially when I'm on vacation. So like I said, there's some really great places to eat on Cape Cod. And as a family, we really like to go out and enjoy those places together and sit outside and be by the ocean. And it's just such a wonderful experience. So I am actually bringing, let's see, one, two, three, four, four dresses. So I'll show you those. They're actually all by Veronica Beard. Um, they are my favorite dress line, but this one you might have seen before. It's been around for a while and I also have it in black, but this is, again, it's that easy, it's a heavier weight cotton. It's so it's not sheer, which is great. And for me, again, I love to be able to dress this up. I'll wear this with my St. Laurent sandals and if, if we're going out to dinner, but I can also just wear this with my flip flops if I want to be a little bit more put together, but more casual for daytime. So I love this dress and this dress, I've had for a bunch of years, so it has made it to the cape several times. And for me, you'll see most of the color in my closet and most of the prints are in my dresses because I just feel like having something that is one piece that is a color or an easy print like small florals really works for me. So this one, it's a cotton dress from Veronica Beard. It has that ruching and I just love it. It's sleeveless, so it's lightweight. And because it's that light lavender color, I think it works great for the summer. And again, I can dress this down if I wanna wear this with my flip flops and my cardigan if I'm a little cooler, or I can wear it with my dressier sandals if I'm going out to dinner and my leather jacket. So next up is this dress from Veronica Beard. And I love this silhouette so much that I have two dresses in this exact silhouette and I'm bringing both of them because again, they're just easy, they're lightweight, they're silk, and they're super versatile for me. So I can dress these up if I want to with my St. Laurent sandals. I can dress them down if I want to with my flip flops. I could wear a sweater over them, a cardigan. I just feel like having these dresses that can really work from day to night really help me get dressed easily for wherever I'm going on the cape and still feel really good and stylish. And then in terms of layers, I mentioned my cardigan before. I just think having a good cardigan in a neutral color is such a versatile piece, especially if you're going somewhere where the temperature might drop in the evening or in the morning and it might feel a little cooler. So this I can wear over pretty much any of the tops I showed you over my jumpsuit, over my dresses, and it's just a softer kind of, you know, more feminine vibe of a cardigan. And if I want to dress up more, I can wear my Eero jacket. So my Eero jacket, again, I could wear this over one of the dresses to just dress it up a little bit more with my sandals. I could also just wear this over a t-shirt with my jeans and my dressy sandals. And it could be a look for going out as well. And it gives me that little structured layer. So I get so much use out of this jacket and I just think it's such a must have for the summer. And my final layer is this leather jacket. Now I also have this in black, but because it's summer, I chose to do this, you know, pale blush color. I chose to bring my pale blush version of this jacket because it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's a neutral, so it'll work with everything. The colors work with everything else that I'm bringing because I do have a capsule wardrobe and because most of the pieces I shared are part of my capsule wardrobe. But I think this is just such a great layer and it, because it's a leather jacket, it feels a little bit more edgy, but it's this soft pink color, which is feminine, which fits my style perfectly. And I think it's just a great structured layer to bring for vacation. So I know with these pieces that I'm bringing, I'll be able to make over 30 plus outfits, probably more than that. But I hope you got a good sense of the outfits and how I can style these and how you might look for the same pieces in your closet or how this helps you find out what pieces are gonna be helpful for you to bring, especially if you just wanna travel with a carry-on, if you wanna travel light like I do. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I get all of these items into one carry-on bag. I like to start by putting my jean shorts down at the bottom. So these I fold and just try to match up the line of the jean with the line of the suitcase. It almost feels a little bit like playing Tetris. And same with these. I'll put these right next to it. And then I'm gonna to move to my jumpsuit. So this, because it's cotton, it's lightweight, I'm going to fold and then I'm gonna pull it up into a tight, tight little ball. And then I'm gonna grab my romper. Same thing, I'm gonna fold it in half and in half again. And then I'm gonna roll it into the tightest little ball I can get it into. 
Next I'm gonna grab my sweater and I'm actually gonna turn this inside out because I don't want it to get an accidental pull on it from anything. And again, I'm gonna fold it and fold it again and turn it into that tight, 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 roll it into that tight little ball. And this also helps keep your items from getting wrinkled, which I love. And then I'm gonna put that in there. So I'm gonna grab my t-shirts and my tank tops, same thing. I'm gonna fold them in half and then in half again and roll them into the tightest little ball I can and put them in as well. So again, I'm literally playing Tetris with these items. Fold it, fold it again, and roll it up. Next, I'm gonna do my Eero jacket. I am gonna turn this one inside out as well. I just recommend doing that with your kind of higher quality pieces, um, the fabrics that are a little bit more fragile just to protect them. So I folded it in half and now I'm gonna fold the sleeve in and then I'm going to roll it up tight as a ball and put it in my suitcase. Next I have my joggers. I love rolling them up, not just because it saves you space, but like I said, when I empty my suitcase, everything will be ready to be hung up and nothing will need to be steamed. All right, so moving on to my dresses. And again, with my dresses, I am going to also turn these inside out, especially my white dress. Fold it in half. Fold it in half again. So I'm just kind of making it into a little, almost like a little, either a rectangle or a square, depending on the item. And then I'm going to roll it up. So I am starting to run out of room on this side. So what I think I'm gonna do, instead of folding up the next few dresses, I'm going to put my shoes in here. So I am wearing my Golden Goose sneakers on the plane, so I don't need to pack those. But in here, I'm going to put my leather flip-flops. I always save shoe bags. I think they're just really useful. You can always use a Ziploc bag too, but that way your clothes don't get dirty. So I just put them in there and I'm gonna lay them flat on top. And then also my Saint Laurent sandals, same thing. Sometimes I will put these in their own individual shoe bag, again, just to protect them. But I think one shoe bag is just great. And I'm gonna flip them upside down so the bottoms, the soles are on top. I'm gonna put those in there. And I think this is probably good. I mean, I could definitely fit some of my socks or underwear on the side here, but I'm not gonna be packing that right now. And then I'm gonna zip up this half. And flip over to the other side. So here I will do my other dresses. Again, turn it inside out, fold it in half, fold it in half again, and roll it up. Nice and tight like a little ball. The last clothing item that needs to fit in here is my midi skirt. So you'll see, so I got all those clothes in here other than the ones I'm wearing on the plane and shoes. So the only thing that's still gonna go in here is, you know, I'll put my like toiletry little bag in here. This is from Truffle. I love this little bag. It's so cute. I felt like it just elevated my stuff once I got it. And that can go in there. And I have my bathing suits can go in here. Um, with bathing suits or small items, you these you can roll up even more. So I'm gonna fold it, fold it again. And I literally, I just make it as tight as I can, like a little ball and put it in here. Same with these. And then the only other things I need to fit in here are my running sneakers, which I will put in a bag, one or two running outfits, and some additional toiletries. And that will all fit in here pretty easily. I'm not gonna grab all that stuff now, but I think you get the idea. And as you can see, there is a lot more room in here.
If you're ready for a capsule wardrobe, whether it's a capsule wardrobe for your closet or you want to figure out the capsule wardrobe for vacation, like my wardrobe here, go ahead and watch this playlist here where I'm sharing all about a capsule wardrobe and the pieces that I recommend every woman needs to get dressed easily. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I hope this was helpful. And if it was and you're new here and you'd like to see more videos from me every Thursday, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys soon.